Good morning, Byron Schools. Welcome to the Byron News Network. My name's Nate. And I'm Gage. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, 2017. It is a B day. All students, remember to bring your coats and jackets to lunch every day. You need to wear them for recess as well as dismissal at the end of the day. A reminder that the school store will be open during lunches, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Come check it out. Rampage, you have a meeting after school today. Head down to Mr. Clayton's room after the third bus run and have a ride ready to pick you up at 4.30. Today's band lessons are baritones and trombones, period three and four, beginner flutes, period seven and eight, and advanced flutes, periods 13 and 14. Tomorrow's lessons are beginner clarinets, periods three and four, advanced clarinets, periods seven and eight, and advanced percussions, periods 13 and 14. Drama Club, your next rehearsal is today after school. It is for scenes one through three. All principals, soloists, and the Bon Voyage on, what's it called? Ensemble. Ensemble is needed. Tomorrow's rehearsal is for scenes four through six. We'll need all principals and soloists, Lady Fair, Anything Goes, and Public Enemy, in parentheses, Bon Voyage. At this point, we are hoping to have a stage crew start reporting to rehearsals in March. This may be subject to subject change, but once we start coming to rehearsals, you will be expected to attend every rehearsal. Please plan accordingly. If you're in the fifth grade and love cooking, don't forget to enter the Sodexo Future Chefs competition. There is a LEGO Robotics Rally coming up. Grades 3 to 8 can sign up. It will be March 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. at Lenape Valley Regional High School. See Ms. Boyer or Ms. Colonia if you're interested. Beginning today through February 28th, the Student Council is collecting donations for the animals at Barks Rescue. We need things such as canned cat food, kitty litter, dry cat and kitten food, paper towels, disinfectant cleaner, and yarn. Foy ply, not wool, for kitty blankets. Dog supplies are appreciated as well, but they have a lot of cats. They also have an, an Amazon Smile account where you, anything you purchase off of Amazon, a percentage of what you pay goes towards Barks. These animals are in need of our help. Please donate today. Finally today, we bring you the 8th grade language arts classes. They've been reading William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Let's hear what 8th graders think about reading this classic literature. Do you think your students enjoy reading Shakespeare? I think there are some students that enjoy reading Shakespeare, and I think there's a lot of students who are very surprised how funny and interesting Shakespeare can be. I think a lot of students go into it being a little like, oh, Shakespeare's going to be hard, and I think they're a little surprised at how it's not as difficult as they anticipate. Why is it important for your students to learn Old English? It's not so much learning the old English. I think it's neat for them to be exposed to a, an author who was a classic and whose stories impacted many movies and storylines today, even though he was writing in the 1500s. And um, many of the things that he wrote, students can relate to, people can relate to today. Do you enjoy teaching Shakespeare? I do enjoy teaching Shakespeare because I like to see the reaction of the students, um, especially as they get into the story. Do you enjoy reading Midsummer Night's Dream? Yeah. What is your favorite part about the book? My favorite part is the plot and how we all get to read together as a class and act it out sometimes. What is your least favorite part about Midsummer Night's Dream? Sometimes it's hard to understand the Old English, so I have to read the translated version. Thank you. Do you enjoy reading Shakespeare? Yes, I do. What's your favorite part? I think when we read the book and then we go back and watch the video on it. What's your least favorite? Do you enjoy reading Shakespeare? Yeah. What is your favorite part about Midsummer Night's Dream? Um, I like how like Shakespeare writes for all the different characters and like makes them sound different. 
What is your least favorite part about Midsummer Night's Dream? Well, it's kind of hard to understand the story in the old English. Do you enjoy reading Shakespeare? Um, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. What's your favorite part about reading it? Um, my favorite part was when um, Robin, the fairy guy, um, turned um, Bottom into like a, a donkey, and it was really funny. I really enjoyed it. Do you enjoy reading Shakespeare? Yeah. What is your favorite part of reading A Midsummer Night's Dream? Um, probably the language and when we all read together as a class. What is your least favorite part of reading A Midsummer Night's Dream? Um, it's very complicated, but it's fun. And the city after me, sing and dance it trippingly. But first rehearse your song by rote, to each word a warbling note. Hands in hand with fairy grace, will we sing and bless this place? Over on Titania and all the fairies sing and dance. Today's quote of the day is from Aesop. He said, No act of kindness, no matter how small, is never wasted. Make it, it a, a great, great day, day Byron. Byron.